Hi, hi again. Today we're going to talk about baking powder versus baking soda or bicarbonate of soda, its uses and how to check if they are still good. You can get baking soda or bicarbonate of soda and baking powder in the bakery aisle in the supermarket. Both are racing agents. Baking soda is a chemical leavener. It is also known as bicarbonate of soda or sodium bicarbonate. It has a formula of NaHCO3. Sodium bicarbonate is a white solid that is crystalline but often appears as a white powder. It is an alkaline base that is activated when it comes into contact with an acidic liquid. When this interaction occurs, the baking soda gives off carbon dioxide, also known as bubbles. These bubbles help our baked goods to rise as they bake in the oven. Baking powder is also a chemical leavener that is made out of baking soda, a dry or powdered acid like cream of tartar, and an inert stabilizer like cornstarch. The cornstarch works to absorb moisture and keep the baking powder and acid from interacting before it's time. When you mix baking powder with a liquid, the dry acid becomes liquid and activates the baking soda which then gives off the carbon dioxide. There are some bubbles here. Baking powder, however, is double acting and emits more bubbles when it gets hot. It reacts first with the liquid and second with the heat. What this means to you as a cook is that when you are making a recipe with baking soda, you need to get your batters into the oven as soon as you can after the ingredients are mixed together. With recipes that use baking powder, you have a little more leeway because the baking powder will react a second time when the batter gets hot. When to use which one? Because baking soda or bicarbonate of soda needs acid in order to be activated, you usually find it in recipes that have an acidic ingredient like the buttermilk in Irish soda bread. Vegan bakes do not have eggs or buttermilk which is acidic. Bicarbonate of soda is usually used in conjunction with vinegar or lime juice or lemon juice. Bicarbonate of soda is used in making pretzel to give its brown color and also Chinese yu tiao. Or cha kui or yu cha kui or yao cha kui. Chinese alkaline dumplings ki chang has a yellow color Although alkaline water is used, bicarbonate of soda has the same effect. I use bicarbonate of soda for my roast pork to make the rind light and crunchy. And I use baking powder to make the chicken wings crispy. When making buttermilk waffles, you want a little tang of the buttermilk, so you use baking powder instead of baking soda. Sometimes both are used in a recipe. When there is not enough acid included in the recipe, you can't just add more baking soda because it will give your finished product a metallic taste. Instead, baking powder is used. In short, everything needs to be balanced. Non-food use of bicarbonate of soda. As a deodorizer in the fridge or smelly cupboards, it can clean and polish aluminium, chrome, jewellery, plastic, etc. It is also used to clean greasy ovens. Can you substitute one for the other? The quick answer is no, because it will change the flavour, texture and colour of the food. Having said that, you can create substitutes as long as you know the end result will not be exactly as intended. Baking soda is 4 times stronger than baking powder. If you don't have baking soda on hand, use 4 times as much baking powder. If you don't have baking powder, you can use baking soda as long as you also add an acidic ingredient to activate the soda. In simpler terms, you can make your own baking powder. To make 1 teaspoon of baking powder, you need 1 quarter teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon cream of tartar, and 1 quarter teaspoon cornstarch. To make self-raising flour, add 2 teaspoons of baking powder to each 150 grams or 6 ounces of plain flour. How to test baking soda and baking powder? To half a cup of hot water, add half teaspoon baking powder. It will sizzle immediately. If it does not sizzle, throw it away, it's no good. To taste bicarbonate of soda, add half teaspoon vinegar to half cup hot water. Then add in half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. It should sizzle immediately. 
If it does not, it's not good. There's one more thing I need to address. When you buy bicarbonate of soda, are you getting bicarbonate of soda? No. What you get are sodium carbonates. So, have you been lied to? Well, yes and no. You see, sodium carbonate reacts with acid and becomes sodium bicarbonate. So, we are okay. How to store baking soda and baking powder? Both come in containers with lids. It is not airtight, so I keep both of them in a plastic ziplock bag. Baking soda absorbs odors and we do want that in our baking. Now that you know the difference between bicarbonate of soda and baking powder, you can cook and bake with confidence. If you'd like to know about more basic ingredients and more recipes, click here. I'm Loretta Lee, Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share with you my food journey. So don't forget to click like and hit the subscribe button so that you'll be informed of all the videos that I upload. Until the next round, bye! See you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you!